let's go on an adventure. So I'm here at my house and this video is going to be a little different. In this video I'm going to show that you can see some pretty interesting things in your yard or lawn, uh, garden, uh, whatever you want to call it. Now keep in mind we keep ours kind of overgrown in parts but this will go to show you some of the creatures um, small creatures you can find in your yard even though I do live in the country um, these micro environments can be found in city parks and that kind of thing if you live in a city uh, so let's go So this little thing right here, it's not a creature, but it is somewhat interesting. Uh, here in my area, you can find them really readily. These are wild strawberries. This is uh, the native strawberry species we have here. And this would be what the strawberries look like before they were cultivated into the strawberries we know today and if you see my this is my finger they are really small uh, they're not as sweet as a normal strawberry uh, but they are pretty good and uh, if you're ever in a situation to where you need to forage um, you can't eat these so they're pretty good here are some mushrooms I am no good at identifying mushrooms. Uh, as a rule, do not eat mushrooms unless you are 100% sure of what they are and you are good at identifying them. Uh, they are... Uh, that is something that can be extremely life or death. So yeah, do not eat mushrooms if you do not know what they are. If you can see, there's a couple of bugs fluttering over here. Um, those are a species of damselfly. I can't keep them in my viewfinder, unfortunately. I will show a picture of a damselfly here. These are uh, really interesting creatures. Uh, and they live near water which I'm next to a small stream that's here on my property. Unfortunately, this little caterpillar here, um, it appears to have not made it. Um, I don't know if it fell out of another tree or if a bird has dropped it, uh, but they would not be on this uh, cedar tree normally I will move it uh, but yeah unfortunately he is no longer with us or it is no longer with us these are unripened blackberries they're another good foraging food and they are also food for birds and deer and bear and many other things so now I'm going to go over some things that I did not go over in the, um, that I did not get footage of. The first one here is a beautiful little orchard, orchard spider. Um, he's, it's, it's very small, but they are quite beautiful. Now these are harmless. The only two species that cause significant medical issues with it, with humans in North America are the brown recluse and the black widow. Uh, so you do have to watch out for those two, but the vast majority of spiders are harmless. 
This is an arachnid, this other one here. Uh, this is a harvestman, or what some people call a daddy long leg. Uh, there are rumors that they are the most toxic spider in the world. Uh, or most venomous, but they actually do not have venom whatsoever. They are scavengers and uh, basically clean up, they eat small dead things. Uh, they are harmless. Uh, they look somewhat like a spider, but they are not a spider. Uh, they are, uh, it is a harvestman. Uh, the next picture here, this is a small native bee, a bee native to uh, Tennessee. Uh, so it is not a honeybee, uh, but it is native and it is uh, feasting on these uh, flowers, um, getting nectar from them. Uh, and it is very important. Native bees are just as important, if not more so, than the honeybee. Now, the honeybee is not native, they are a European species uh, that was brought over uh, basically when the first settlers came but they are not native. They are useful. They do pollinate and they do uh, produce honey, which we use and love. So they're not considered an invasive species, uh, but they are not native. These little guys are, and they are uh, very important to the ecosystem. This last picture here that I have is a small um, predatory fly. I do not know the name. Uh, but they are beautiful little, there's a vast number of fly species here in North America, and this little guy is a predatory uh, fly, so they do, uh, they can kill and eat uh, its smaller insects. Uh, they are an interesting little thing uh, that is uh, just something you can find outside if you uh, just so happen to go looking now this ain't hasn't been a long video but all you have to do is go look around your property be careful america does have venomous snakes uh, and two species of venomous spiders there's also scorpions and that kind of thing um, the more common thing to worry about is one of these guys or a tick uh, because they do carry diseases so be sure to wear bug, plenty of bug spray and you should be fine um, just be careful uh, know what you're know your surroundings and uh, if with a good camera you should be able to get some really good pictures as well so I hope you all enjoyed the video it is short but um, have a great day.